the Dead Krazukis. Hey. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, and I want to start with your quote. So, a year ago you said to Punk Rock Theory, we want to play at Hellfest someday just for a dream. So here we are, and there it is. And how do you feel about it? Uh, about to have a big hangover tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and no more dream. And no, <laughs> no, that's one more on the checklist. But uh, yeah, that was something we wanted for uh, so long. Mm -hmm. So we are super happy now to, okay. to fulfill that dream. Yeah. Great to see you here. And great you had an opportunity to play here. Yes, thank you. And then, uh, okay. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was so-called pop-punk revival. Like, you know, Machine Gun Kelly, Avril Lavigne is back, uh, I don't know, Travis Barker produced an enormous number of artists and everything. Uh, did this so-called revival uh, help you as a band somehow or not? Well, to be honest, we were never on the pop-punk side of things. We always have been skate-punk. Okay. Uh, more on the no effects, Pennywise, Bad Religion, Rancid side than the pop punk. We, we're not too much into it. So we, decide, we decided uh, 15, uh, 10 years, more than 10 years ago to do a skate punk anyway. So okay. um, probably don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, okay, great. Let's get back in time a little bit uh, to the Northern Bell album, okay? Uh, you had the brass section, the tube section on uh, on the Northern Bell. Uh, why did you refuse this idea? Why did you put this aside? Well, quite easy because it was one of our best friends playing mm. with us, a okay. good friend of us. But uh, at the stage he decided to, to stop. Mm. He didn't want to, to play music, uh, punk music anymore. So he stopped and we continue to do uh, what we did before, but without him. Yeah, ah. it, it was more a um, friend story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the end, he was playing a uh, brass section because uh, he was there and he was okay. our friend. So when he stopped being with us, mm -hmm. we didn't look uh, for a replacement. Yeah. Um, we still keep on going with, without. Yeah, having brass section wasn't um, um, require uh, at the beginning. Okay. It just it was like it this was because an opportunity yeah, we, we were he, just, he was just with you and uh, yeah and said oh and you said okay <laughs> yeah you do brass that's perfect let's try and it was it was great and songs are still good uh, in mm. my sense without mm. on the album I love them because of the brass section that is more composed like a third guitar more okay. than a real brass mm -hmm. section. Uh, but yeah, I think it's working without anyway. That's why we didn't want it to carry on some uh, new members doing more brass. Oh. Yeah, let's okay. stick to skate punk. That was okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, and uh, with every next album, your your sound became heavier and with metal influence. Is it right or is it just me? <laughs> no, it's true. It's right. Yeah. It's right. Okay, so uh, let me ask why. Uh, just because we are ourselves evolving, mm -hmm. um, and the goal is to have that kind of sound we we have now. Because okay. you always said your last mm -hmm. latest sound is the best because it's the latest one. Okay. Um, Northern Bell is more on the punk rock side of things. Mm -hmm. um, like the Rise Against uh, era, mm -hmm. uh, it carries a more, more mixed uh, general punk rock with a bit of Sum 41 inside. Yeah. And the new one is more, uh, we embrace the metal, light metal mm -hmm. side of things because it's fun. Like double First, bass and all, and all the stuff, double bass that you play. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and it also it comes with the our technical level. Mm -hmm. um, now we have uh, Seb on guitar. We, mm -hmm. we started, he started with metal. So it's better at doing that that we used to do. Uh, I work a lot on double bass uh, yeah. because I was kind of suck before. Mm -hmm. I was just doing um, single pedal punk rock. Okay. So the time everything goes together, uh, it was the time to compose songs that were heavier and also because we like a lot of yeah, hardcore bands yeah. 
metal bands and we like to we will be forever a punk rock band but okay. with mixed influence but still your third album it, uh, like your whoa, musical revolving uh, it reminds me a bit of Sun 41 also yes. which you I know you are big fans of Sun 41 of course. Uh, so they were also like they started as uh, a skate or pop punk uh, band, yeah, and they, they evolved, and now the last album they sound totally metal. We saw I don't know taping solos and everything, yeah, yeah, and which sounds great, but uh, I don't know. Do, do you think they step too far from punk rock, or it's totally okay now? Uh, I kind of like the uh, concept they have for the last mm -hmm. one. Like one part is heaven, and the other one is hell. Okay, um, they do a lot of pop punk also mm -hmm. that we do not like or do not do anyway. We kind of like the metal part. And you probably right on the last album, the metal part is, is very metal, uh, like way outside punk mm -hmm. rock. I think we're more stuck in the Chuck album era. Okay. Or does it look infected? Because that kind of the two albums that have the perfect mix mm -hmm. to me between slight metal riff and big solos and a bit of double bass and very, very catchy uh, yeah. punk rock yeah. chorus and that's why we uh, what we like at the moment that's basically <laughs> the foundation of what we are doing right now and mm -hmm. I don't think we go further in the metal or violence than okay. that maybe we'll still do mm -hmm. hardcore parts if we need screaming parts if we need okay but yeah. uh, we still We're doing catchy going chorus too deep in yeah the... oh, not okay too deep. Yeah. great I got it uh, <laughs> Now, <laughs> please remind me, uh, who writes the lyrics in the band? Myself. You. Uh, now, I, oh, you, you read all the lyrics? Uh, I, li I read all the lyrics, of course. Uh, Congrats. Even from... The band didn't. <laughs> why not? Why not? So, first, of, first, of all, first of all, they are cool. Second, uh, even read the lyrics from your demo when, even not, uh, when you had a male singer, not uh, Maiden? Yes, Maiden. Maiden. Yes. Even not before Maiden, I think. Oh, the first... Uh, the first demo. The first demo, yes. From the, oh. the three songs. Oh, yeah. uh, I digged a little deep. <laughs> as you can see. Anyway, uh, Mader once said that you have some serious lyrics and some, wait, it's a called idiotic lyrics or like yes. a mocking lyrics. You, as a lyricist in the band, uh, what is harder to write? Some serious lyrics like Icarus and the Underworld or some, I don't know, mocking or joking lyrics? What's harder? Uh, to be honest, both are pretty hard to write. Uh, I think the funny ones are, are harder to, to mm -hmm. write because if you try too hard, it sounds corny. And okay. I kind of very like the sense of humor in NoFX, for instance. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very well written, especially the jokes. Okay. They are uh, subtle, you know, and that's why I try to do. And so the funny, uh, the funny ones, you have to re rewrite every sentence like 10 times to have something that is funny and not too corny so i, I think that's the, the the hardest one to write okay so the mocking lyrics are like the funny lyrics are the hardest yes okay uh by the way you sing in english i i, I can't ask is it okay for you but uh, why did you choose english because of how it sounds or because of uh, skate punk should be in english you know Oh, that's a huge debate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what, um, uh, what, was, what was your decision in there? Uh, we used to play some some songs a long time ago in French mm -hmm. with uh, our first singer, but we, we were like not it. really happy yeah. with that. And when he did, we decided to, to go to English because, yeah, maybe, maybe it's how skate punk has to be. I don't know. Well, but that's what we listen to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only English punk rock. Ah, okay. And I think it's, it sounds better. Mm -hmm. Better than oh, French. And, and I think, to be honest, we were not uh, very fond of what we call French punk rock, mm -hmm. which is the typical French uh, punk rock sing, singing French, which is super far from skate punk. There mm -hmm. is no nothing close to skate okay. punk it's always it's uh, more like social and punk yeah. as, yeah. exactly as I shaped, yeah. so that's 
not of we, we there is some songs we like but we not uh, we don't we didn't want to have a band for playing that and we wanted to be as our legend models like no effects bad religion pennywise okay. and even Milan Collin, the, the Swedish, and they sing in English, like No Fun at All. Mm -hmm. They are Norwegian and they, they play, uh, Swedish, sorry, and they play also uh, in English. Uh, a lot of them, I, I think, for going international, if you want to, mm -hmm. it's way better. Your music is far from the whole uh, French punk scene. Yes. Uh, is it because where you, you owe your for working in some surfing company? As yes, I remember. Okay. Julian and me. Ah, great. So, uh, like your work uh, influenced your musical taste. Let's say it like this. Like you're working with surfing and everything. So uh, skating. So back in the nineties, mm -hmm. all the um, surf videos and skate videos okay. was uh, with Pennywise. Or uh, so there is a so it's kind of uh, close cross to culture between. So it's kind of close to California, but in France. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that, that's the main influence. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We we used to be mm -hmm. uh, skateboarders and surfers uh, in the nineties, so that's kind of natural. Mm -hmm. We are just old, so <laughs> <laughs> we try try to surf a little bit. Julian is pretty good. We stopped skateboarding for a long time because our um, everything is broken. Okay. But we keep that uh, Californian culture with us. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so obvious that we sing in English. Okay, yeah, so, uh, that's why I connected these two questions. Yeah, exactly. And if we are talking uh, about your uh, uh, about your occupation and what, what you are doing, uh, you have a great, uh, almost reggae song uh, <laughs> named Bab Make Babylon Great Again. Yeah. <laughs> now the lyrics are great too, but uh, did you write the lyrics from your own observation? Like you saw that uh, what what happened, and uh, you write the lyrics about it. If you if you read enough all the lyrics, you see uh, in our second album Icarus, mm -hmm. we got one that was called El Diablo. Yeah. And this one, Make Babylon Great Again. Yeah. Every song mm -hmm. is about one of the local uh, beaches we have when mm -hmm. people go surfing. So I try to make one song per uh, surf spot. Okay. And typically, what you find on Icarus El Diablo, it's the Australian hipster uh, that goes to, uh, to to for surfing, you know. Okay. And on the other beach, it's uh, called the Borden. It's mm. more um, hippie reggae man, and so that's why it's written. On. It's ah. it's kind of a local it's private caricature. joke. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it. It's caricature it's because sometimes we go surfing between mm -hmm. uh, our hours of walking mm -hmm. and you always have the same dude that is perfectly unemployed and with Rasta dread and checking the waves all day and you say, what are you doing here? <laughs> I am joining the wife. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Don't you advise them? Like, uh, don't you advise them? Like, they have their wife and you're supposed to work and everything? Oh, uh, that's why I made that song funny. Mm -hmm. It's to say that his life was easy, but mm -hmm. because he was uh, fortunate enough yes. to live the dream. Mm -hmm. And we cannot. <laughs> so but uh, uh, <laughs> in the lyrics, you said that his father bought him a Of land. course. Yeah, so he can enjoy his wife because of his father. Exactly, not, exactly. Not... <laughs> okay. And that's why it's uh, the pun with make Babylon great again, mm -hmm. because that guy is probably pro Trump, <laughs> you know? <laughs> great. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, if we're talking about surfing and everything, um, I may be pronouncing it not right, but Kosegor uh, Crust Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Club. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, what is this? <laughs> so, that, that's a pretty, pretty bad story. Um, it's, can, uh, we can. I, I saw, I, I'm sorry. I saw just one photo, yeah. but uh, I give you the opportunity <laughs> to tell about it. <laughs> so, uh, we love punk rock. We love uh, surfing, and we love uh, to party uh, a lot. So okay. we it's went. All about uh, the um, cross club. Um, we play Extreme Fest in the mm -hmm. south of France. And just so you know, that's our good friends, uh, Dirty Fonzi, that are organizing that. So every time we go to play there, it's kind of a party 
non-stop. Okay. And this one, I think we go a bit far. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. <laughs> okay. And uh, ended up sleeping on the directly on the ground and Julian had near, near some near some fence. <laughs> yeah, some fence and Julian pissed there and <laughs> And we just have that and photo so that the was the perfect resume of the weekend. And, uh, <laughs> and when we say in France, you are crust, it's like uh, you're the hardest uh, drinker. Yeah, drinker, but punk drinker, you know, the one with the dogs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's called the crust. Okay. And we call that the Osegor Cross Club because, uh, yeah, you can be part of it if you want. <laughs> And if you see in the logo, that's why you have two lions vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of our blazon, you know, the chivalry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I saw the logo, but I didn't realize there are two lions vomiting. <laughs> no, the, if you look closer, the lion have a party hat and they vomiting. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, <gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna finish. <laughs> the end. No, 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 we're not. I'm fine. You, you can be part of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> we say that every time, but. The song Captain Crust uh, is also yeah. somehow yeah, related so to this? Yeah, the, the, so following that concept mm -hmm. of the crust, yeah. the song, we call the Captain Crust, which is the drunkest uh, okay. people you can have at your show. There's ah. always one. Okay. And one time we have <laughs> one dressed like a captain and he, uh, and he has a real ferret a ferret mm -hmm. the animal with him okay. and he was showing him the show <laughs> so we suppose that the ferret was like deaf for uh, so i wrote that song just to have the yeah it's kind of uh, a pirate of the mm -hmm. caribbean but for drunk people okay. yeah very drunk people okay yeah. that, that, that's great that's great uh if we're talking about songs about people and for people uh, there is a short song for old people. <laughs> uh, is it about uh, what is to, to whom it refers? It refers to to you, to your crowd, to, to us as listeners. Uh, to whom? Uh, oh no, to, it's for us. For us. It's for us. When you and, and, and for us. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, you we can identify maybe. <laughs> we also realize that all the people that come to our show is. Uh, around our age, <laughs> we don't speak to younger people, so yeah, yes, Serious. No, yeah, no. Se no, seriously, that was my next question about the crowd. Seriously, like 40 plus and everything, yeah, yeah, it's more, more likely, more likely 40 plus, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you, you know, allow me to share my experience. Actually, I'm not surprised because uh, I saw Offspring uh, yep. last year when they came uh, and uh, most of the crowns they were like uh, 35 plus 35 to 45 yeah and uh, i was like uh, okay that's uh, some i don't know a concert for from old band to old people yeah by the way you see osmink tomorrow yeah uh, that's that's tomorrow yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow yeah, yeah today is metallica Osmink <laughs> tomorrow tomorrow Osmink. tomorrow yes today metallica, metallica, metallica tomorrow, today, Osmink. tomorrow Osmink. yes spring yes yes uh great uh, now we're still talking about songs and uh, videos and uh, you have the song burnout this was the song when i fall in love with your band just because uh, fuck you oh and i was like yes this is my band <laughs> totally <laughs> easy break fuck you whoa yeah <laughs> But uh, you have also a pretty cool video. Is this an autobiographical video somehow, or uh, is just uh, you know the, the idea of rage in office and everything? Oh, uh, um, the burnout video. Uh, we. The funny thing is, we shoot all the videos at our office at Ripcar. Okay. Uh, which is pretty great because our boss, we, mm. which uh, who, who was there, he, he mm. took the train for seeing okay. us. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> the boss of the company was there to mm. see us. We 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 shoot every video on weekends uh, mm. on, at the office, so we always find a new spot for doing videos. Okay. Like Northern Bell was on the warehouse mm -hmm. where we ship goods uh, and, to, and green screen, a huge green screen. Yeah, yeah. green screen. It's yeah, we and. All the burnouts mm. one was shot in, uh, even in 
the boss, uh, the boss office, uh, meeting rooms. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, was it uh, the story in the video? Is somehow related to you? It's autobiographical? No, or... uh, I, I think yeah, that was just a moment. I was uh, just pissed off by going to work, which okay. can happen. Uh, we have a pretty good job because mm -hmm. we work in the surfing company, but it has it's still a job. Uh, you see what's work. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah up and down. So okay. sometimes you just piss with that. I wanted to write that, mm -hmm. but when I shoot the video, I wanted to to give it more personal to my dear. Okay, that's why I adapt a bit a lot with. Mm -hmm what she had at, at that moment on on her side of things okay. and that's why the story is more focused on her having okay. a, a real burnout yeah yeah okay and and if we still talking about videos you have uh, a lot of references to the pop culture like uh, south park a street fighter game and <laughs> everything first of all who is responsible for this <laughs> always the same Wait, you write the lyrics, you're yeah. responsible for videos, you does everything. Uh, my, my, my real... Uh... So that Krazuki sits the bank or you are just your project? <laughs> no, that's me. No, it's... Um, videos is um, my second real work. Okay. So, and special effects, mostly. Mm. That's why I like green screen and animation and okay. everything that is pretty nerdy and mm. techy for a long time. Uh, so and I really really enjoy shooting the videos, wow. if, especially if it's if it's for my band. I'm yeah, of more course. Happy. But uh, yeah. here in the band, you are the nerd. You are the one who loves all the South Park and uh, I don't know old games like Street Fighter. Yeah, and everything. Every or time you I, I try to. If you see that I only do in animation the uh, mm. shortest songs because it will take me like forever for doing that. Uh, the South Park, it was, I really wanted to do okay. a South Park thing for a long time and that's my favorite show, so I okay. said, I have to do that. I tried. And, and, it, and it became great, by yeah. the way. And I uh, mm. even went on old um, a show about uh, South Park to do the way they, mm. it used to be done at the time. Okay. So I redo exactly how, how it was done, with the same texture and everything. Okay, and what uh, the other band thinking, or you just don't ask him and just make it? So, so what? What the other members thinking, or you don't ask him, just we, you just we, make we it? Can't say this anything. is our clip. No, sometimes I said, oh, I'm gonna do an animation, and they said, oh, cool. Okay, for and, uh, <laughs> I stay in my cave for three months, and I say it's done, and uh, and they so come. Very nice. <laughs> no, I try to show them the uh, whip okay. uh, I, I'm, I'm doing, but uh, especially in animation, mm -hmm. when we shoot for real. It's always kind of easy to see what the result will be. Yeah. Animation, I try to do screen caps for mm. the guys, uh, but it's so a pretty long process that I, sometimes myself, I don't know what is gonna uh, end up What's like. Going, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's of a trials and mm. errors all the time. In the end, I really like I really liked your uh, your videos with uh, South Park. It's the song for all people, yeah. and uh, Street Fighter is for uh, the mindfucker. Mind yeah. Mind you still at uh, SBAM level? SBAM level? Spam. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, does it help you somehow to promote the music with the music or? Uh... It's more uh, distribution. Okay. Uh, because we tend to do everything. So you like a DIY band? Yes. We always done that and he kind of work great for the what we want to do so we produce ourselves our albums okay from start to finish mm -hmm. we don't have a producer we don't do we do everything okay. um, design graphic graphic design music video and we give that to the label and say we just need distribution because that's something we cannot control okay yeah and uh, uh with punk and Drablek, they helped you somehow, or it was only you? Who is that? Punk in Drablek. We, we were not with Bam at this time. No, ah, no, okay. no, 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 no. There okay. was a local promoter mm. who called who called us because I think one band was needed to cancel. Ah. So they so asked for a French band, and mm. we are we were lucky enough to be uh, the one selected. Yeah, yeah. But Mike however, said, yeah. When, however, when you saw your uh, your name with, uh, I think it's all your uh, heroes, like Nofix, Bad Religion, everything, and the Dead Krazukis. 
What did you feel? It was crazy. Uh, it was the first time we, we did something that big and it was like our first dream, I yeah. think. Okay. Then the fest, but to play with Bad Religion, I, FX, it was I, I, I had the news six months crazy. before, it was at Christmas, so I, uh, I uh, called them uh, one by one on the phone at Christmas to say, oh, we're gonna play Punk in the Republic. And okay. I was like, here's fucking your insane. present. <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> and, uh, and we still have the the glasses mm. with all the bands and our shitty band. <laughs> he said, hey. You got this one shitty shit no, 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 please. No, God, please, no, no! <laughs> uh, anyway, we almost finished, but uh, did you have an opportunity to see your idols there on the, on the backstage? Yes. Okay, yes. so how? You, was, you were excited or it was like, yeah, hello, Fat Mike. Uh, nice. Yeah, we've seen Fight Mike a couple of times. Okay. It's pretty nice. Uh, the rest of the band is pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. uh, Smelly is like uh, super funny okay. and super nice. Uh, Pennywise people, they Pennywise, were. Uh, Pennywise, yeah. you had a super, super cool. tool for them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, direct support. So that yeah, was yeah. again a big dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are fantastic people. Super nice. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lag Wagon, we end up eating oh, yeah. oysters with Choi Cape and it was like fucking insane also. <laughs> uh, we don't see much bad religion. No. They stay, they tend to be maybe a bit apart. Maybe, maybe it's because they are old already. You know, I suppose if you tour every day, uh, yeah. like for a big tour, sometimes you just yeah. want to stay. Uh, yeah, but they are what? like 60. Say. Something like that. For yeah. example, the guitarist, yeah. mm -hmm. he, when he exit the bus, mm -hmm. he take his uh, race bike and go doing some bike. Okay, <laughs> wow, seriously. Yeah. So, and we uh, were just drinking, yeah. like usually. <laughs> no, I saw there. But we don't have a bus, so. <laughs> you, you will. I, I, I'm sure we, you will. We will invite you. <laughs> <laughs> we will do bus. the interview in the bus. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, guys, this is. Uh, we have two questions, and this one, I'm so proud of it. Will you ever do the song about Henri Krasuki? <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're the first one to have the real reference of our name. I I checked all your interview and then I needed to dig deep. Who the fuck is Henri Krasuki? Yeah, and we say shit every time about the name. Like, we try to change the legend every time we have an interview, so you find the right one. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. So, what about the song about Henri Krasuki? Maybe will you some, ever do it? Maybe someday. Yeah, it can be maybe someday. a good idea. Okay. Yeah, someday, maybe. It's a really hero. It, it, will, it will be some serious lyrics or it will be some... Uh, no, more no this, one, this one would be funny because <laughs> we, we took the name because uh, he, he was a funny person uh, yeah. uh, before everything. Uh, he was a funny Wait. person, but... Uh, With really a conviction, strong, uh, yeah, with a strong uh, political... Uh, I, I know he, he was some communist, right? Yeah. Uh, work, no, no, workforce, yeah, workers. Uh, ah, worker, workers. you know? Okay. It's the real worker uh, representation mm. and uh, with the French uh, side we, of things. <laughs> uh, okay, because we came from, uh, you know, post-communist countries and uh, for us, like if we see some, uh, yeah. you know, communist, it's kind of, it's a big red flag. <laughs> it's it's it, a good side, uh, it's a no, it's, social side. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really more worker, you know, okay. like, like work union, you know, things like that, like mm -hmm. to help uh, honestly. It's a labor, it's a labor and everything, yeah. yeah. It's not the real communism like Stalin or the one you, you please, have. Please don't. No, no, we don't tell you. <laughs> As a man from former USSR, please don't. <laughs> yeah, please anyway, pleasure. guys. For my sorrow, the last question, because I'm out of them. Uh, what are you dreaming about? Now you, we are at Oh, it's first. done. We have no dream left. <laughs> no more dream. Okay, uh, you as, I mean, you as a band and you guys as personal, as persons. As a band, uh, would dream to try to open for Sum 41 before they stop. Okay. That would be yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of maybe Personally? doing some some more festivals like this, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. maybe travel a bit. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. Great. And as as a person, what are you dreaming about? But you, you, uh, you, you. You know, I mean, they've been for only a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> My dream is to 
continue ah, the adventure. To continue with the band? That's it. But I saw you today. You you made great. Like, really? Thanks. Like, uh, I saw I saw and I heard the riffs and everything. It, it was great. We knew each other for 20 years. Yeah. But in we, the okay. we had a band. So before. we know we know ah, well ah. each other. So it's a natural mm. thing to have him now in the band. Ah, okay. Which is very great. Great. And what about you? Uh, I'm more liking the uh, creation side of things. Mm -hmm. So my personal dream would be to write a new album that would be like uh, the best I could write. Okay. Yeah. Usually, usually, as I spoke to musicians, usually every musician said this is the best album I could of write. Course. And then the next album is even be, better. Be, yes, better. <laughs> Overs, you know. Oh. Yeah. And you? I don't know. Uh, no FX was a big dream. Mm -hmm. uh, Elfest was one of the biggest. Okay. And uh, I would love to to travel to play a big. Uh, Mm. Big festival, but maybe uh, I don't know where, but uh, maybe in Germany. We go in Germany this summer, so we will see. Okay. Well, great guys. It it was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. Lot. That was nice of you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Fuck you.